Hello folks, so I'm going to show you how to solve a problem that you may be dealing with. Drain flies, I'm in my bathroom shower, you might have it around a kitchen sink, it could be in a bathroom sink or in my case a shower. And you'll notice what's probably looking like fruit flies or just little gnats. But that's what I've got, it's kind of disgusting, but I'm going to fix it, I'm going to show you how to fix it. So let's go into the, the shower here. I got my flashlight here. They're little tiny, little tiny flies, and they're coming from the drain. And you can see all those little bugs walking around there. I've got them on the floor. They tend to congregate on the walls. All those little dots there are the flies. What they're feeding on is the organic material that ends up getting clogged in the drain. So it's hair. Uh, maybe it's the skin cells that wash off as you're showering and they get stuck on some hair that's in the sink, in the drain, and pretty disgusting, they lay their eggs in there and then they hatch. And they don't, they don't go far from this location, but it's still gross to be taking a shower and there's all these little flies in there. So let's figure out how to get this thing done. So first thing we've got is we've got to take the, we've got to take the drain cover off. So I've got my drill here. And I don't know how yours is set up, but this is just a couple of screws. I'm gonna take those off. Don't lose the screws, make sure you don't drop them down the drain. And then, let's see here. I gotta pry this thing up maybe. So whatever you need to do to get yours up. There we go, that popped, ah, gross. Yuck. So let's get a shot of that. And that's gross. I also have a, a glove here, a little rubber glove. Pull back some there. Because I don't really feel like touching this stuff any more than I have to. Yeah. And you saw how bold I am, so it's probably not my hair that's left in there. Or maybe that is mine, and that's why I'm bald. I've got my little Walmart sack here, so I can like dig this gunk out. Ugh. And I'm just gonna dig this out of here. And whatever you, you know, whatever you've got, ugh, this is nasty. So use the longest thing you've got to dig in there. Ugh. Probably not something you wanna show people, but I'm sure yours is just as gross. But the other thing I've got here is a little drain cleaner. I got this at Walmart for five bucks. Or maybe you've got a maybe you've got a long um, metal brush, <clears throat> drain cleaning brush. That's what you want to use. You just want to clean out this drain pipe as much as you possibly can. I've got this drain snake thing in there and I've extended a couple feet in there and I'm just trying to poke through as I was trying to dig out some of that hair balls. I couldn't pull it all the way up and it slipped off of my screwdriver, went back down the drain. And, and if you can pull this stuff up, you want to do that, but if you have to just throw it down the drain, that's all you can do. That's all you can do. Just another option if you've got something like this. You don't, you don't really have to have these things. These will make it better just to clean out your drain. Whatever you can do, if you only have a screwdriver or a metal pole, that's great. So, ugh. so if you see that, oh, there, ooh, look at that, I caught some stuff. So now I gotta get that out of there. My next spot here, my next task, I'm gonna pour boiling water down there just because it's easy. You don't necessarily need this, you could just use the Drano, but it isn't hard to boil water. So let's try to wash this stuff down and just pour it down slowly because you want it to, to wash all the stuff off the sides of your sink, off the sides of your drain here. Basically, whatever you can do to clean your drain, the more you can clean stuff out, the better. And I see some stuff here at the top. Just, you know, just trying to get all the gunk, everything you can get off, you get off. There it is, I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes and I'm gonna come back with some Drano. 
been about 10-15 minutes since I poured the boiling water down there and now I'm going to pour some drain out. Now this stuff is the cheap stuff and it's really thin. The thicker gel type stuff, my guess, is probably works a little bit better because it goes down the drain slower and sticks to the sides. And the key is you're just trying to get everything off the sides. And that's where I say that brush is probably the best thing if you got one of those brushes just to scrape things off the side. Let's just dump some of this down there and I'm going to dump it slowly and try to try to get all this stuff off the sides. And it's good to just pour it on the side of the, the drain like that so that it gets the sides. And this is going to be fine. And I see a little bit of residue on the side of the, the drain there as I look down. And that's all you're trying to do. You're just trying to get all the stuff that you can see out of the drain pipe. Putting the finishing touches on this thing, I'm going to rinse it out with some hot water. Really don't want to get all wet here, so I'm just rinsing that out. Now it's just time to put on the cover. Got it all rinsed out. Line up the holes, whatever your cover looks like. If you're in your kitchen, you know, whatever. Just follow, follow the reverse of what you did. So, put that on. And one more and we will be done. And my uh, drain fly problem, my drain fly problem should be, should be over. Uh, and when you do this, the cleaner you get the inside of your drain pipe, the longer it'll be before you ever have this problem again. That's why I recommend that wire brush. So good luck when you try this. I'm sure it's gonna work for you. Thanks for watching.